one horn. The stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. <sighs> well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Touch me, and you'll regret it. A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it, anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? I, Truce. I'm Karlak, but you already knew that. And you are... Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out, I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. But devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tear, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. Don't worry, I'll lead the charge. But I could use your help. There's a lot of them, and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? Fuck 
yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Uh, hang on, though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. I can say only this. Karlak's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. You sound like a man with a nine hells at his heels. You're closer than you know. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. You're not in any danger, I promise. I can't say the same about me. Bodies everywhere. Accident or sabotage? Karlak and Will seem to have put their differences aside. I thought it was going to come to blows for a moment. Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. I don't know what you mean. It's nothing, really.
I thought we were going to see some real sparks fly between Will and Karlak. <laughs> it's almost a pity things ended so amicably. Seeing those two duke it out would be fun. It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. got the brawn of a warrior and the wiles of a survivor. Best of all, she speaks her mind plainly and fully. Show her due respect. Well met. Devil and devil hunter standing shoulder to shoulder against a common enemy. Rather poetic, I think. Think of it as... tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? I will consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket. But it will save my life. Even if only temporarily. Thank you. Oh, that hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Grateful as I am, the course of our camaraderie is much better served by not taking that particular detour. Not just yet. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. A 
obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. I like Gale, but I'm keeping all my good gear well out of sight. Everything fancy he touches meets a grisly end. Why are we slowing down? Yeah, let's go straight there. Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's nothing good. Just to say, by the way, they're not really paladins. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress-up as paladins of Tyr. No honor among devils. You know, I'm up for anything, but there's no room for me. Come on, put me in already. What's on your mind? I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. the story let's go 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 what's the story
Hell's fire. She's coming. Well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Well, you absolute stinker. You kept me a secret. Hmm. Time to let the Hellcat out of the bag. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. And at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria, pet. Trust me on this. The point? Oh, yes. Thanks for the reminder. Will burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. better what the hells have you done a promise broken a price paid you know the terms get used to the new form pet there's no going back some magic even i can't undo now let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade karlak keep an eye on him would you I'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. I'll be honest, soldier, I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. <sighs> Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. <laughs> you can say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. God's damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings.
these years. You'd think it's a lesson I'd have well learned. It's Mazora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast eldritch blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. Ah, the one little question that put me out of house and home. I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this, the moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. I'm listening. You know, I was just thinking about you, remembering our little encounter in the night. The very same. It obviously put me off your neck, but now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. And <laughs> not that anyone's volunteered. It's just an idle fancy. Alas, it doesn't hurt to ponder the question, though. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined like well-aged brandy. But the gift? What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. Oh. Well, that sounds very appealing. I'm almost convinced. No one's getting killed, I swear. We're just two friends talking. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? Disgusting. I just mean a sip of their blood. No mastication required. A fine choice. She is enticing. Although, the more I think on it, the hungrier I get. I better go find something I can actually get my teeth into. <laughs> Don't tempt me, darling.
What's so funny? You haven't got some laughing curse, have you? <laughs> I really made it out of Avernus. It's incredible. All right, just keep it down. We're conspicuous enough without your hyena call. Whatever killed those gnolls might be nearby. Careful. Keep that beast away from us, you hear? Me, the beast? Now that's fucking rich. Please, no more. Leave us in peace and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please, we just want to go home. something in the squint of his eye. You suspect he's lying. Enough! Enough! I'll not play pretend anymore, Karlak. You're going home in pieces if needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison! I'm free now, and I'm never going back! <laughs>
day, you fool. A bright idea. Another fight. Let's go. Battle favors the fearless. Coming through. Victor's path. Time for a new.
Who favors the fearless? <sighs> I better hurry. Time to waste. All that matters. One day I'll catch a break. I'm never coming back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Ariel's got to stop fucking with me, you know? I'm done with it. I'm done with her. I'm free! I'm free!
never get used to the stench of death. I needed. Still breathing, despite everything. Felt good letting off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire lasted a little longer than it should. Nope. Not sure how good it is for the gears, either. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. High pain tolerance, and a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the Scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. 
Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things, if I can find him. Who knows? Maybe I can run like this indefinitely, but maybe not. A weaponsmith, huh? Not sure if he's the guy, but I'd love to find out. A tune-up would do this rusty heart a world of good. I'm way too big.
trap. Be cautious. Be cautious. Hmm. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Looks empty.
shouldn't nature be beautiful and serene? It looks so nice in the upper city parts. Upper city, huh? Swish. Never spent much time there myself. I'll happily take you, if we survive this bug's banquet. Mm, sounds good. I've always been curious what a patriarchy looks like. took the edge off. <laughs> 